With just a few months left for the high voltage assembly elections, the race for the Congress CM face has also intensified with a new entrant. Former Karnataka Deputy Chief Minister and the former KPCC President Dr. G. Parmeshwar has thrown his hat in the ring for the top job, with Sidramaya and DKS factions now already fighting over the Congress CM face. Dr. G. Parmeshwar's entry to the race is likely to put the Congress party in a tough spot. Speaking at a cultural event, G. Parmeshwar saying that he missed his opportunity of becoming Chief Minister twice and further said that if he was lucky, he would become the Chief Minister this time around. So I have been, I have been uh, serving them, but they have been blessing me. They have blessing me for the last 30 years. Representing them. I am representing them in, in this day. So I am very fortunate. Um, uh, Swamiji, as Swamiji said, inside, I, I missed the bus twice. But nevertheless, it is, it is my, my destiny. I always believe in my destiny. And if I am destined to become the Chief Minister of this state, I will. If I am not destined, I will not. <laughs> but anyway, that is a different story. But I try, try to serve the humanity as much as possible uh, with all my sincerity and honesty. On that, nobody can stop you, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> nobody. Adrinda, so these are the details now coming in of uh, uh, G. Parmeshwar also being the latest to have said that he could also be the chief minister face of the Congress party. This comes at a time when a lot of criticism has also come the Congress party's way because of the fact that D.K. Shivkumar and Sidhara Maya has spoken time and again about being the CM face of the Congress party. Now a prediction also being made by one of the Swamiji's uh, that has lit uh, Dr. G. Parmeshwar's dreams of becoming the top leader in the Congress party. Deepak continues to stay live with us. Deepak, uh, interestingly, each of these political leaders within the Congress seem to be wooing their own voter base while making these statements, whether it was D.K. Shivkumar who was addressing the Vokaliga community, Siddhara Maya addressing a Kuruba crowd, or it is now G. Parmeshwar as well who is talking about the fact that he missed the opportunity of becoming the Chief Minister twice, and this time ar around perhaps uh, he could be the CM face for the Congress party. So it's going to be quite a tough challenge for the Congress party ahead of the elections. Well, uh, G. Parmeshwar, who's of course held the position of the Deputy Chief Minister of Karnataka, sees himself as the, you know, leader of the, uh, uh, you know, Dalit camp in the Congress. And, uh, you know, he has, of course, uh, harbored ambitions of becoming uh, the Chief Minister, and uh, that has come out now uh, quite openly with his uh, particular statement. The problem for the Congress that uh, could arise is that, uh, you know, this factionalism of sorts that's uh, brewing within the party could dead their hopes in the upcoming election, and that's the concern even with the high command. That's the reason they have been time and again saying that do not make statements about, you know, uh, the, either being the CM space or, you know, wanting to be the CM or even the supporters have been told not to project one particular leader because they want this to be uh, a fight which is going to go ahead collectively as far as the Congress is concerned to stand a chance to take on the BJP this time around. So it's going to be very interesting with uh, now uh, G. Parmesh throwing his hat in the ring uh, with already DK and uh, Sidramaya, like you mentioned, repeatedly okay. making statements uh, indicating that they aspire or rather uh, they will be the next uh, CM. Uh, with this particular uh, entry now coming to the fore, how uh, the Congress party's chances either will be dented or whether it will be elevated, this is anybody's guess, but definitely okay. a lot to ponder over for the Congress and the BJP this time around. Okay, all right. It will be interesting to see if there's any rebuke coming in the Congress leader's way after this open declaration. Deepak, thank you for joining us with those details.